Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Since we've been back home, it has been totally insane here. Totally insane. I mean, just imagine what you had to do to prepare your house to leave for three and a half months. And, you know, even though we had a house sitter, my son and the dogs, um, it's still not the same. You know, you come home and you've got to redo everything. You know, you've got to stock up because while I was gone, you know, I took a lot of the food with me and because he eats his own thing. So um, a lot of like things that I took out of the cabinets, canned goods that I knew might expire while we were gone, I brought them with so that we could um, have them down south. So we came home on the... We got home Sunday night, April 14th, and it was a wild ride home. We left Myrtle Beach the morning of the 12th. Now, Jay drives the RV, not me. It's a big 40-foot diesel pusher. We tow our Jeep, you know, all of that. I've never, I've really never driven it. So we left Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we drove that day all the way. I mean, I don't even know how many hours it took us, but we to this little town in Virginia where we spent the night in a Cracker Barrel parking lot. And we went into Cracker Barrels, you know, we ate there. We were we were both exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And that was on the evening of the twelfth. So the thirteenth we came home on the 13th then. So we got up on the 13th. We were in Virginia. And we just, I had a funny feeling once Jay hit the road, he was just going to go for it, which is exactly what he did. So we got home. I have all these video clips of the trip, the things that we did, and I wanted to put a lot of them together and kind of share them sort of vlog style a little bit. And so I started to work on that, and I thought I would have it done last week, but between restocking and and then just getting ready, you know, to do things, um, we had to go car shopping. There's a whole bunch of different things we had to do. It, it was totally crazy. So I, um, I'm going to use this as an intro into this vlog, which is sort of just about our cruise. We went on our very, very first ever cruise. We've never been on a cruise before. This is our very first ever cruise. And my sister, who is a travel agent, and she's in New Hampshire. So if you're in New Hampshire and you're looking for a cruise specialist, you know, give my sister a shout out, Heidi Waldron and Right Way to Travel. She's, um, she covers obviously New you know, all of the cruises and she can, you know, she can really guide you. She's a boutique travel agency. It's not a big travel company or anything like that. Boutique style. So her specialty is cruises and she was able to guide us into our first experience. And if you've never been on a cruise, you might maybe have um, maybe a negative idea about a cruise. I know that we certainly did. We never thought we would want to go on a cruise because we were always the type of people that we would explore at our own pace. We would be on an island and we would be like in Aruba and we would see all these people coming in off the cruise ship and they're like in a line, you know, and they're like waiting in line and it's like, oh my gosh. And we're like saying, there's like a herd of turtles, you know, there's, there's a ton of them there and they're going so slow to get off the boat. Not for us. And so at least that's what our attitude was. So we tried our first cruise. It was Holland, America. It was the Western Caribbean. And my sister, if it wasn't for her, I think if I had booked this cruise on my own, I'm sure I would have made a number of mistakes. But she guided us to the perfect cabin and what floor it should be on, um, what position it should be on so that we wouldn't hear a lot of noise. We didn't want to be in the front, whatever you call it, the bow, the stern. I don't know what you call it, but we didn't want to, because that's the most rocky. Well, I didn't know that, right? I would not have known any of that. So she really guided us into, you know, being able to have the, the right kind of stateroom, do they call it? It's a cabin. It's a, we had a balcony. Uh, it was small, but it was very efficient. It was clean. 
I'll, I'll tell you all of the the our stewards I think you call them the um, the people that worked our room that took care of us they were absolutely fantastic it was it was just really nice now we were fortunate enough to have friends that also went on the same cruise line cruise ship with us so it was nice that our first cruise experience we were able to hang out with somebody who had cruised before so their cabin wasn't anywhere near ours, but we still connected up for dinner. We had a standing dinner invitation each night, and um, it was just amazing. I mean, I did hang out by the pool a lot. I tried very hard to stay covered up. I used all my sunblock. I have a ton of sunblock. I, I used a lot of it. Hats, um, you name it. And um, But I was so looking forward to seeing some of the islands. And um, sometimes things just don't pan out, right? <laughs> just don't pan out the way you expect them to, to pan out. But overall, I'm going to make sure that I leave my sister's information at the tail end of this. If you are in New Hampshire or New England, give her a call. Because overall, I think if you're, if you're going on a cruise, if you're an experienced cruiser, you know, maybe you don't need any help. But if you're like me and you have no idea the layout of the ship, you know, where things are, where to go and all that. Oh my God, having a, a travel advisor that can just really guide you, that you, that you can trust, is priceless. And so that's my sister plug, my sister Heidi. Anyways, um, I hope you watched the video. It is photos, a little few video clips here and there, but and and I do I do a voiceover. So you'll see a voiceover on I think most of it. And then at the tail end I'll have Heidi's contact information for anyone that is curious about that. But I highly recommend if you have never done it kind of figure out pick a place that you might want to be and then if you're if you're local in New Hampshire give my sister a call and even if you're not maybe she can direct you to someone who can also help you but that was that was a wonderful trip and we did that the beginning of February so thank you guys so much for being here I'm going to um, sign off and um I won't come back at the end because I'm sure it'll be way too long. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Leave me a comment below if you like this type of a video because we've got a few other, um, you know, other things planned that we're doing. And I still have a few. I have my Georgia. <laughs> I want to put all everything we did in Georgia in a in a vlog style. And then I have uh, St. Augustine, Florida, where is where we spent the majority of our camp site was in, in St. Augustine. And then we also traveled to the Gulf side. We did a whole bunch of different things while we were in Florida, including that trip. We, we um, sailed out of Fort Lauderdale, so we had to drive down. I stayed with Marlene Fab and Glam. You might have already saw some of that video. And um, just to cut the, the travel time down a little bit for the cruise. It was really nice. And then we went to Myrtle Beach. And Myrtle Beach is, oh my gosh. I think sometimes, you know, you hear Myrtle Beach and you think party, you think bikers, you think, you know, booze, you think riffraff at times. Um, but I, I'll tell you, I think, I think Myrtle Beach sometimes gets a really bad rap because I'll tell you, the beach, it was un unbelievable. We stayed on the northern end of Myrtle Beach, right near North Myrtle Beach, which is another town, and it was it was just really nice. So I have got a bunch of clips from that as well. So let me know if you like this. I'm sharing this on my beauty channel. You'll see some of the beauty products I brought, but overall this is just a cruise, Western Caribbean on Holland, America, and we were cruise virgins. We're already planning our next cruise. <laughs> So, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Here we are. Right? Yeah, here and, we are. And we're going on an adventure. MJ Adventure. Yeah, so when are we uh, going to be on our adventure? We're almost on our adventure. Yeah, I think uh, we depart in about six hours. Six hours? Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, we were so, so excited. This was the first ever cruise for us. 
And we sailed from Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas. Look at our cabin. And the views were amazing. It was so, so beautiful. My sister, who is a travel agent specialing in cruises, really took care of us really beautifully. She booked the trip. She selected, helped us select our cabin and gave us really good advice on the best cabin, the best positioning to be on the ship so that we wouldn't hear a lot of noise, so that, you know, we would be easy to get to all the different places that we would want to go to on the ship. I mean, these ships are huge, huge. So we left Fort Lauderdale and we sailed to Half Moon Bay, the Bahamas. That was our next day. And what a beautiful beautiful little island it is oh my gosh I was so so impressed the only issue I had with that island was that at the time that we were in there was an other cruise ship in port another uh, Holland America and it was extremely crowded so most of the time when we were on board I just absolutely loved hanging around the pool decks and on our own balcony because I loved, loved the views. I just sat there. Jay just sat there. We had so much fun. We were fortunate enough to have some sunset views, took tons of pictures of the two of us. It was just absolutely beautiful. And this was also the week of my 70th birthday. So we kind of celebrated that as well. We had gone on the cruise. We had some friends that were on the cruise, and that made it super, super nice because being our very first time, we really didn't know what to expect. And they have been cruising for quite a while. So it was really fortunate that we weren't alone. I think that makes a big difference because the ships are, like I said, huge. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy to kind of get confused and turned around. But the ship was absolutely beautiful. The food was just phenomenal and so delicious. And again, the views, breathtaking everywhere, you know, whether you're on a deck or you went outside. Um, it was just beautiful, beautiful. And this is Half Moon Bay, the Bahamas, as you can see, Holland America, big boats in port, two of them, ours and, and the other one. And Jay, the water, he swam like crazy. The water was just absolutely beautiful. I love, love the color. Jay. Yeah. We finally found some lounge chairs and I literally could have just sat on this beach all day. It was just beautiful. We ended up walking around and exploring the island and I took a lot of little pictures and a couple of video clips. And it says here, I wish I could stay here forever. Absolutely true. It was so picture perfect. And once we got back on the boat, you know, I think the tethering or when you have to ride the little boat to get over to the big boat. I don't know what it's called, but I think that is sometimes, you know, a little really crazy <laughs> because so many people, you know, crowds of people and all that, but it was really beautiful. We got back on the boat and um, the views were just amazing again. And, you know, leaving to, uh, to go to our next port of call, which was supposed to be Ochi Rios in Jamaica. However, that didn't pan out. The seas were extremely rough, and so they diverted us to a other port, and that port was not prepared for having people at all because they weren't expecting any cruise ships, so that was kind of a bust. But we had a great time, dinner on the cruise ship, the formal night. We weren't really super formal, but we did kind of dress up, cleaned up nicely, I thought. Food was yummy. Entertainment was super awesome.
so if you're into nightlife, they had all sorts of different nightlife. They had gambling. They just had a lot, a lot of entertainment, adult entertainment. Holland America, I think, is more of an adult type of a cruise ship. So, so three times around is one mile. I stayed super active. I walked the deck. Um, it begins at Promagand or whatever it's called. I can never say it the right way, but I walked the deck all around. I did, I think, I think three times around the whole ship and I loved it. It was a little windy when we were there because the seas were rough, but walking the deck and being outside the sunshine even though it was a day at sea, and even though we had really not been able to enjoy Jamaica, I was looking forward to doing the Grand Cayman, Cayman, uh, Grand Caymans, Cayman Islands, Georgetown, the next day. We pretty well, both of us stayed active. Jay visited the gym a couple of times, and I did a lot of walking. We were on the sixth floor. I walked up to the ninth floor where the pools were and the um, the Lido calf where you could, you know, gra grab food if you wanted rather than taking the elevator. And a couple of times I went downstairs to the second and third floor uh, or decks, I should say, of the ship instead of taking the elevator. So really tried to work on staying as physical as possible. Absolutely loved walking this deck, though. I know that this is probably not the best view for you, but if you're watching this whole thing, this was really amazing, super enjoyable. And then after my walk on the deck, I just had a lovely little coffee sitting there on the little cafe looking at the views. And of course, you know, we had the alcohol package. So here's Jay. Did you just say there's a handsome guy over there? Yeah. And it's this guy in the window right there? Yeah. This guy right there? Yeah. Is the handsome guy that you, you were talking about? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he was so, so, so funny. But he had a great time. And, and um, you know, some people, when they drink too much, they get obnoxious. <laughs> Jay just gets totally funny. So this was going into Montego Bay, which is where they rerouted us from Ochi Rios because we couldn't get in there. But we didn't get off the ship, and I'm kind of glad we didn't because a lot of people complained because they really were not expecting a cruise ship in. And I think when there's no cruise ship in the harbor, that's when a lot of the places close down and people take a day off and all that. So, but it was really nice going in there. I would have liked to have been able to get off the island, but you can't. I mean, off the ship, but you can't, really can't control the weather. And I would never hold the weather against the cruise or the experience. I brought all my skincare. As you can see, I did my Nera. I did my Zip. I did my Candyway Red Light Therapy. I feel bad for anyone that might have seen me on the deck, but I don't think anyone did. But it was very, very consistent, making sure that I had my favorite skincare with me. And... Sun protection, lots and lots of sun protection because we were out on these decks and just having a fun time. And here's some more shots of us in the evening. I did pack some of my favorite wigs. Dinner, you know, was always a wonderful occasion, especially since we had dinner almost every night at six o'clock and there's got a little birthday surprise, but we had dinner every night, a standing reservation every night at six o'clock, and that was a lot of fun. And they actually wouldn't let us go into the Grand Cayman Islands, into Georgetown, because the ship before us crashed into the dock or deck or whatever you want to call it. So they shut that down. So we had another day at sea. But we did get off at Cozumel, Mexico. And <laughs> you can see all the photos of Mexico. Jay and I by our ship walking around the town. Um, Cozumel was really fun. We went out and did a little a boat ride. We did a cruise to a island. And that was, I thought, a lot of fun. And the water was beautiful. Jay did a lot of swimming. We just did a lot of exploring. I think we took advantage of the fact that on our seven-day cruise, we only really got off the ship twice. 
once on uh, the Little Half Moon Bay in the Bahamas and then, you know, couldn't get off in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, couldn't get off there. Mm -hmm. And so it was Cozumel, and we went off. And going out on the on the boat ride was fun. Going to the island, we had authentic Mexican food. My husband wasn't a fan of it, but I thought it was actually pretty tasty. I think everything was so colorful, and I think that was just amazing. All the different colors, and and of course the stores. You know, everything was like a tourist trap there. We didn't really buy anything but we walked around and a few of the people that we were on the ship with came off too and we had fun we ran into a fellow realtor as well of all places to meet up a fellow realtor you know on uh in mexico so this is the island we went to really nice little place i thought it was a lot of fun lots of people around and the water was absolutely beautiful it was warm i'm glad i brought my sunblock jay went swimming again and we just kind of posed for pictures and did not want to leave again it was just such a i think a really nice afternoon and these are just some random shots of the private island that we were on I would definitely recommend, if you are taking this cruise, to go ahead and take that um, little private island tour. It was fun. And then we got back. Of course, the sun was setting, and you can see how dramatic these photos are. It was just really pretty. We walked around downtown or the town a little bit before we got back on the ship. And once we got back on the ship, we were totally wiped out. We were exhausted. The next day... So this is our last... We are at the sea all day. Yeah, all day. So we're going to hit the pool. I did some exercising. Me too. We did some exercising. I've hit the gym, I think, four, four times this week. Four or five. And, and I've been walking the... Uh, promenade. Promenade. That's what I've been doing for exercise and swimming and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you've twice. Yeah. But that's good. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Are we going to be addicted to food? I don't know. I don't know. day, we hung out in the pool, had some more to drink. Oh, my gosh. Took some more pictures. And then we got together with everyone that night, had our last dinner on the ship, and we took a bunch of pictures. And this is us coming back into Fort Lauderdale on the last day of our, well, our cruise was over basically, the day that we would have to, you know, leave the ship. And that was on February 11th that we debarked our ship in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was really interesting to see all the other cruise ships in port. Oh my gosh, they are so, 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 Big. It was a lot of fun. And this is a group shot of everyone on the last night that we were there. And here we were waiting for our our uh, name to be called and leave the ship. It was an awesome cruise. I would definitely do it again. Really loved it. Huge shout out and thank you to my sister, Heidi Waldron, from Right Way to Travel in Stratford, New Hampshire. Reach out to her if you're planning a trip.